Last Encounter, a space roguelite that has a unique approach to its progression system that has you expanding your arsenal with various modifiers that can be mixed and matched until you're practically a Death Star. Last Encounter offers various pilots and ships that let you tailor your experience around your playstyle. You can be a slow powerhouse that soaks up damage, or zip around the map in an agile fighter that can cloak to safety when things get too hectic. Every ship has access to a simple dodge move that can be used quite frequently, and even though certain ships start with different weapons, any ship can swap out to any other weapon once you have it unlocked at your home base. As you bounce around these procedurally generated star charts, you will be gathering currency that can be used to buy temporary upgrades for that run only, and any of the weapon modifiers that you purchase during your journey will appear later in your home base. These are not instantly unlocked, however, and you will need to pump money into the ones you want to focus on to have them available for your next run. You have three modifier slots to your weapons that can be tweaked with these upgrades that you accumulate, and this is where the greatest amount of variety in Last Encounter comes from. Certain weapon types can synergize together in pretty impressive and satisfying ways, and since the rest of the upgrades you will be finding during your runs are the basic variety like shields, health, and shot speed, the core concept that keeps you coming back to try and try again is this weapon modifier system because you never quite know how your arsenal will combo together. The difficulty curve of these areas you're exploring are all over the place, even more so than normal for a roguelite. Some later areas seem like a cakewalk compared to some of the earlier areas that have poisonous clouds covering nearly every inch of the screen or gravity altering enemies that have it difficult to just move your ship where you want to go. This game might look like it's the type of game where you're mindlessly blasting everything in sight with little to no care, but I can assure you, a slow methodical pace and knowing the enemy types will get you much further in this game than any other approach. Last Encounter has up to four players local co-op, which is a cool addition and fun with friends, but with about every game ever made about narrowly escaping a barrage of bullets, yes, the visual clutter of more players and more projectiles flying around the screen, will often make this more anti-cooperative and your partner is just making it vastly harder for you rather than easing your progression. Last Encounter is not a long game, and once you find your favorite weapon combinations, have some of the better ships and pilots unlocked, you'll find yourself easily blasting through repeat areas. While much of the competition in this procedurally generated roguelite genre has vastly more modifiers that help keep the game fresh from run to run, this game narrows its breadth and focuses on the core of ship-on-ship -ship combat. Last Encounter is an appropriately priced and very enjoyable arcadey space shooter that has its awesome moments, but does little to make its various runs feel that much different from one another. This has been Deadite from Boomstick Gaming, and thanks for watching.